Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week six of Palace's Winter 2023 collection. Well, yeah, it's that time of the week, guys. Time to cover the latest weekly drop of Palace's latest season. And as mentioned in that intro, it's week six of the winter 23 season. Now, there's been no collaborations announced for this week. So it looks like this week is going to be a purely seasonal item drop only. Um, what we'll do to cover the drop for week six today is cover the release details, the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on said pieces and the week as a whole by using a Max Merch More Instagram post. Uh, we'll head on over to that Instagram post now and we'll start covering the release details for week six. Here we are at the Max Merch More Instagram post uh, that we'll be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out yourselves. But we'll quickly cover those release details for week six. So winter 23, week six, all items will be releasing Friday, 11 a.m. GMT time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US. Friday. Now, if it is uh, Wednesday the 1st, it's going to be Thursday the 2nd, and then Friday the 3rd. It's also then going to be dropping Saturday the 4th for Japan and China. Japan will get it in store and online 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. China will get it 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time by the WeChat store. Uh, if you guys have any further questions about when and where the release is happening, drop those questions in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram. But now that we have covered the release details for week six, let's get into the pieces. Let's check out what we're gonna be getting. Let's dive in and we'll start checking out page one. Kick off page one, we have the Gore-Tex Cotton RS jacket uh, coming in a couple different colorways. We've got three solid, uh, solid colors. We have the black, olive, or navy. All three of them, very, very nice. Then we have the rock scape color. So that is a, a, a rock landscape applied to the piece all over it, which means there'll most likely be a matching pair of bottoms for that jacket as well, and for the solid colors. Look, I love all the solid colors for their versatility, but I also really like this rock landscape color done on the jacket, because I think the colors on it just look really, really nice. It looks like a, like, in a way, a woodland forest camo, but now that they've described it as like a rockscape, I could definitely see that as well. I can visualize that looks like, you know, various rocks and like the terrain and everything like that. I can see that. I, I definitely like it. All the colors are awesome. It's not a piece that I'd personally wear because it just doesn't match my wardrobe, but I know a lot of you guys out there would definitely get around it, and I can understand why. It's a very solid piece this week. Moving on down, we have something that is a little bit more me. We have the quilted jacket, which I feel like it's kind of underselling what it is. It's a quilted bomber jacket. It's got that style. It comes in a deep green, a chill blue, and a black. My favorite is gonna to go to the black. Uh, I do like the green as well. The chill blue is fine. I just feel like there's an opportunity cost here where we've missed out on potentially what could have been like a really cool like burgundy color or like a deep purple or a deep red color or just like a lot of other color opportunities and instead we got a chill blue one which is okay but if we had to pick three colors I, I would agree with the black and the green but the blue is where I'm kind of like we could have gone with something a little bit more exciting. <laughs> That's just how I feel though. Solid piece. Love the uh, diamond quilt exterior. It, it looks like someone's reversed a jacket and that that looks like the interior, but on the exterior, uh, I love it. Yeah, um, uh, quilted linings are very nice, but it also looks really cool when there's a quilted exterior. It adds some texture and a little bit of design to your outfits in a very nice, like subtle way, I would say. Moving forward, we have the washed out Triferg hoodie coming in a green, yellow, navy, orange, and pink. Look, I definitely agree with the green that it's washed out. 
the other colors they look faded most definitely they don't look like a like a solid color like the previous pieces we've been looking at but uh i definitely would say that like looking at the green that one looks like it's been washed like a thousand times and it's lost almost all of its green dye in the actual hoodie which i kind of like i kind of like that look the other ones I think we need about 500 more washes and then we're on the same level here. <laughs> uh, especially that black one. That black one is not washed out enough. But yeah, it's cool. If, if you just want, if you like that look of like really washed out pieces and you don't like the look of like a really solid color, this is definitely the piece for you. But um, I feel like we, if we're going to call it washed out, I feel like we got to go all the way. we got to be, you know, the color's barely there. But that's just a personal preference of mine. Last but not least for page one, we have the Holy Grail jersey coming in a burgundy and a navy. Look, in all honesty, this is not for my wardrobe, this is not for me, but I'm not going to completely beat up this piece because it's not for me. I can definitely see the demograph that like will get around this jersey. I know a lot of you guys will get around it. I could see like people rocking this with some baggy jeans some adidas sneakers some low-cut leather ones i can see it now i can see the uk look happening right then and there but for me th that's not my look so i would definitely give it a miss but i could understand if you guys are really keen on the holy grail jersey this week but uh yeah that is everything releasing on page one a very solid first page though uh, i would say that my favorite piece from page one quite typically is going to go to the quilted jacket uh in either the green or the black i probably should go the green to spice up my wardrobe a little bit but you can never go wrong with black so yeah but that is page one let's go check out page two moving into page two as i kind of highlighted uh you're going to get matching bottoms for the jacket we saw before. <laughs> um, they come in all four of the colors that the jacket comes in, of course. Uh, and it would be an awesome outfit to have both the top and bottom half. Like, I think just that would be awesome. But if you want to go that little step further, there's also matching hats. So if you want a boonie, you can get a boonie that also matches. I personally wouldn't because that's not my type of style. If there was a cap, yes, but not the boonie. But uh, yeah, I think it's cool that there's a whole ensemble for it. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Moving on, we have the corduroy uh, six panel. Uh, it features in the holy grail color that the jerseys featured in. It features in a tan a navy, a black, and a green. Solid colors, solid piece, can't complain about it. It's a nice little piece. We've then got the Teddy Beanie coming in uh, like a brown color, a gray, and a black. Uh, I think this is a fine beanie as well. As long as it doesn't have actual ears to it and it's just a fluffy beanie, I can't complain about this. This is a nice textured beanie. It's a nice little piece. I think my favorite piece on page two, it's probably gonna go to the corduroy six panel. I think it looks really nice in the black and the green, but the navy and tan aren't too bad as well. And I think, I just wanna correct myself. Yeah, so the uh, that is it for week six. That is the end of it. The third and fourth uh, and fifth slides are just close-ups of what the jackets and outwear pieces look like this week. But that is week six, um, a very small week. We are wrapping up the season, so I can understand why it's a bit smaller, but I still think it's really consistent because you could go with this Gore-Tex outwear bundle, or you could go with a nice quilted jacket, a nice hoodie, or some nice hats. I, I like it, it's not a bad week. We've got nice pieces in it, so I can't really complain about it. But um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, guys. How do you feel about week six? Do you feel that it's just a bit too small? There's not a lot going here. I feel like I really like its consistency. Like it's consistently a good week. There's no absolutely horrendous pieces this week, and I feel like we need to give it props for just being like solid but maybe you feel differently about it and now that we've covered week six i'd love to hear your thoughts on if it's a awesome week or not a good week down in that comment section below 
But that is week six covered, guys. It's releasing this Friday or Saturday, depending on your region. We covered all the individual pieces on releasing in it, and we covered my thoughts and opinions on it as well. I think it's a fine week, but um, I'd love to hear if you guys are going for anything from this week. Maybe you're holding out for Supreme to drop something this week. Um, maybe you're looking to pick up the Gore-Tex pieces, or maybe you just want a nice furry beanie. I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you guys are going to be going for from week six down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collaborations, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we tried to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,740 subs before the end of October. We didn't hit it, but we had less than 48 hours when we needed to hit that milestone. So hopefully with your guys' continuous support, now we can hit that milestone in November instead. But that's everything I really got to say about week six, though, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Palace video, until the next Drop List video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.